Well, hey, friends, thanks for joining me for prayer today. You know, we do need the wisdom of God to navigate the complexities of life. You know, when you think about uh, the scriptures, God often talks about the wise man, the foolish person in contrast. And, and he's going to do that again today in the book of Proverbs, Proverbs 12, 10. And it describes there the compassion of the righteous versus the compassion of the wicked. I mean, you really don't have to look very far in our world. The, the world talks about how it's compassionate and cares about people. But honestly, the world's filled with cruel people doing cruel things to others. Listen to the contrast here. Um, it's going to talk about how the righteous, they have compassion even for animals. Where the wicked, uh, because they don't recognize the Imago Dei, because they don't recognize that you're made in the image of God, they're just flat out cruel. Not just to animals, but they're, they're cruel to people. Listen to this. Proverbs chapter 12 and verse 10. A righteous man has regard for the life of his beasts. In other words, he's compassionate towards people because they're made in the image of God. Jesus died for them. We should be compassionate for people. But we even care about being compassionate towards animals. Listen to this in contrast. But the compassion of the wicked is cruel. You know, you think about different legislative stuff that's coming down the pike towards children um, or towards, you know, the unborn. And, and, and then they have the audacity. People have this audacity to say, Christians are not compassionate. The reality is this, that the wicked believe that they're compassionate, but look how they treat other people. I, I mean, even look at the, you know, different organizations, global organizations, they claim to be compassionate, but they are not compassionate. I remember I was in Central Africa one time and, you know, there's these NGOs and they're supposed to be, you know, compassionate towards people. And you're watching them withhold food from people that they were supposed to be giving it to or giving it to different warlords or, or people who uh, were taking it and selling it in the black market. I mean, the corruption level of the wicked is real. Listen, the companion of the righteous towards people and even towards God's creatures and creation. But the wicked, it is not so. God, help us to be wise. We know that there's lots of words. There's lots of rhetoric. But Lord, we know that those who fear you, those who walk humbly before you, love people because they're made in your image. And that it matters what we do. There's a spiritual accountability to every word, every action taken towards another person. We're told to be filled with compassion and mercy and pity and um, care for one another. But it is not so with the wicked. God, help us to be discerning in these, these days in which we live. We prayed in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, friends, whatever's going on today, remember this. Hold on to Jesus. Hold on to his promise. Hold on to his presence. He's going to carry us through.